our finance minister has proposed for cervical cancer vaccination in the last interim budget. But why? Cervical cancer is the fourth most common cancer among women globally and the second most common cancer among women in India even though it is preventable and treatable. The major reason for this is the taboo regarding the sexual education in India and the lack of awareness among women about the cervical cancer. Cervical cancer is a sexually transmitted infection caused by a virus called as the human papilloma virus. The main strains causing the cervical cancer in women are HPV 16 and 18. There are two key strategies to deal with this cervical cancer. One is the vaccination. Vaccination has to be done to girl child who are in the age group of 9 to 14. As of 2023, there are almost 6 vaccines for cervical cancer globally and 2 vaccines are licensed in India, namely the Cervarix and the GAD vaccine. The second strategy to deal with the cervical cancer is the screening. So, screening can be started from the age of 30 in the normal women and can be done every 5 to 10 years. But in case of women with HIV infection, the screening can be started from the age of 25 and can be done every 5 to 10 years. On the whole, screening can be done twice, once in age of 35 and another in age of 45. So, these are the two key strategies to deal with the cervical cancer. So, WHO is adopted a plan to eliminate the cervical cancer by 2030. So, the strategy is the 90-70-90 strategy. So, 90% of the girl child has to be vaccinated by the age of 15. And 70 stands for the 70% of women has to be screened by the age of 35 and 45. And other 90 strategy is the women who are identified with the cervical cancer has to be treated efficiently. This is the 90-70-90 strategy to eliminate the cervical cancer. So friends, take charge of your health with regular screening and vaccination and the future self will thank you.